So welcome everybody to this forum on ICON Spectral CT. As Paul mentioned, my name is Ekta Dareya and I'm a research scientist with the Computed Tomography Business Unit in Philips. And over the next 15 minutes or so, we're going to talk about ICON Spectral CT and the economic benefits it has to offer. So in today's uh, healthcare environment, as healthcare is moving more and more towards value-based care, most institutions are looking for solutions that improve clinical efficiency and create a profound clinical impact while, uh, maintaining pa uh, while increasing patient experience and lowering the cost of care. Uh, Philips has developed a breakthrough technology called the Icon Spectral CT, which is the only detector-based CT with powerful advancements. And ICON delivers uh, on its promise of real-time decision-making uh, without compromising your workflow and patient experience while creating a positive economic impact. So ICON truly delivers on three different benefits. The different spectral results that ICON offers allows you to add additional information, increasing your diagnostic confidence, making your first exam the right exam, uh, your workflow remains the same with ICON, and therefore all your spectral results are retrospective available throughout your enterprise anywhere and everywhere. And since spectral results are available, or spectral data is available 100% of your, on all your exams, it eliminates the dilemma whether you want to turn spectral on on certain patients or not. So what is ICON Spectral CT? ICON is actually a single source CT with energy discriminating detectors. It has a dual layer detector. The top layer absorbs low energy photons, while the bottom layer absorbs high energy photons. The data from the two layers can be combined to create a conventional image, as well as what we call as a spectral based image. These spectral based image can then be used to create different spectral results. We will review the spectral results on the next slide. Since uh, the data from the two layers are perfectly aligned, you get true projection-based spectral imaging. Again, since this is a detector-based system, your tube is free to do dose modulation, as well as you don't have to make a decision upfront to scan a patient in spectral mode. Like I mentioned, let's quickly review the different spectral results that ICON has to offer. The first one is mono-E imaging. This is a result that creates an image as if a single uh, energy was used to scan a patient. On ICON, you can get mono-E images from 40 keV all the way up to 200 keV. So you get 161 different levels of monoenergetic imaging. At low mono-E imaging, you can boost iodinated contrast in an image, and you can improve contrast to noise ratio. While at high mono-E imaging, you can reduce uh, metal artifacts, as well as beam hardening artifacts. The next set of results is what we call as a virtual non-contrast image. It is an image as if the iodine component from the image has been reduced. It can be very useful when you need the non-contrast data, but you don't have the true non-contrast scan available. And it also allows you to uh, manage those on some patients. The next set of results are iodine-based results. These are the results when the iodine component is actually preserved in an image. It allows you to do iodine quantification and visualization. It can be used to visualize subtle lesions and also quantify iodine values within the lesions. The next result is what we call effective Z. It, uh, it is a result based on effective atomic number, which allows structure characterization based on the atomic number of that structure. It can be used for characterization of different structures like kidney stone, and also for different tissues like fat and iodine um, and things like that. So as you can see, ICON really offers a suite of different spectral results that can add to your clinical decision making. So we've had great clinical success with ICON. We have a lot of beautiful cases. You can have a nice demo here at the booth to see them. We have uh, right here at the conference a lot of presentations that talk about the benefits of ICON and multiple different uh, peer-reviewed publications. But what we really wanted to do was to take um, the clinical benefits that ICON offered and see if we can translate that into economic benefits. We wanted to focus on quality improvement studies that focus on reduction reduction in follow-up scanning for different clinical indications where ICON has benefits. 
For example, we can salvage suboptimal contrast enhanced study by using low mono E imaging. The low mono E can boost the iodinated contrast on that image, which could eliminate the need of repeat scanning on those patients. We know that identification of lesions is very common in a radiology practice. With the different spectral results that ICON has to offer, you can identify and uh, characterize a lesion, which adds to your diagnostic confidence, again eliminating the need of follow-up scanning on other modalities. Uh, incidental findings are pretty common on a CT exam. Again, if you have spectral results available all the time, on ICON you can use all those spectral results to characterize the incidental findings, eliminating the need of follow-up scanning on other modalities. So over the next few slides, I'm going to talk about two different clinical studies that we have performed with our partners that really demonstrate the economic benefit of ICON. So the first study we performed was at Carti Cancer Center in Little Rock, Arkansas, right here in the United States. In this study, ICON reduced the time to diagnosis by 34%, uh, reduction in follow-up scanning by 25%, and, which led to a savings of $453 per follow-up scan on patients who would not have been eligible to receive contrast. We know that uh, a substantial amount of population suffer from chronic kidney disease. These patients, when scanned on CT, cannot be uh, administered iodinated contrast because it increases their chances of contrast-induced nephropathy. At CAR-TI, usually these patients are scanned with a non-contrast CT, and then depending upon the diagnosis and the findings, they could be follow up with other modalities like MR and ultrasound in order to confirm the diagnosis. But with ICON spectral CT, you can now scan these patients with extremely low volumes of contrast and use the low mono E images to boost the iodinated contrast, which adds additional information, increases your diagnostic confidences, and maybe reduce the need for follow-up scans. So this was a st retrospective study that was performed on 60 patients. We divided the 60 patients into two groups. Group one received a non-contrast CT scan, and group two received extremely low volume contrast CT scan on ICON. We then reviewed PACS and EMR to determine the number of follow-up scans these patients received over a period of three months. Since the low mono E images were used to boost the iodinated contrast, we got additional information. We realized, and on the group that was scanned on ICON, there was a reduction in uh, follow-up scanning by 25% on MRI and 67% on ultrasound, which added up to an average savings of $453 per follow-up scan. We also saw a reduction in time to diagnosis by 34%. This is what CARTI observed, but any institution can even observe similar or bigger savings depending upon the number of patients and the type of and throughput they have. The next study we performed was at Cologne University in Germany. This study was performed on focal indeterminate liver lesions, and over here we saw a 40% reduction in follow-up scanning, translating to a savings of about 100,000 euros. So we know that focal liver lesions are pretty common finding on a chest CT exam. Uh, sometimes you can characterize them right on CT, but sometimes you require further follow-up on other modalities like MR and ultrasound in order to characterize the lesion completely. However, with Philips Icon Spectral CT and the different spectral results that it has to offer, you can get additional diagnostic information which can improve your confidence and reduce the need for follow-up scanning. This study consisted of about 139 focal liver lesion with an average diameter of about 11 millimeters. These lesions were either metastasis, hemangioma, cysts, or hepatocellular carcinoma. All these patients were scanned on ICON, and we confirmed the diagnosis of these lesions either using follow-up scanning or pathology. When uh, scanned on ICON, we performed different reconstructions on this patient. We had a conventional reconstruction, and then we reconstructed four different spectral results. Iodine-based images, mono E image at 50 keV, virtual non-contrast image, and the effective Z image. 
uh, two radiologists branded to the actual diagnosis performed review of these uh, lesions uh, for both conventional images and the different spectral results. Uh, when the radiologists reviewed the, or evaluated the lesions, they gave it a confidence rating from 1 to 5, with 1 being no confidence in the diagnosis, uh, to 5 where they're extremely confident in the diagnosis. Uh, and they gave this rating both after reviewing conventional imaging and then looking at all the spectral results and re-rating these lesions. A rating of 1 to 4 would indicate that they would need some kind of follow-up scanning in order to confirm that diagnosis. So of the 139 lesion, when only reviewing the conventional images, 112 lesions received a diagnostic imaging score of 1 to 4, which means that they had to be followed up to receive uh, uh, or would receive follow-up scans. But when spectral results were added and when the radiologist evaluated the different results, 52 of those lesions changed the diagnostic confidence score to 5, eliminating the need of further follow-up scanning, which is reduction in follow-up scanning by 40%. Looking, um, since most of these patients would be scanned on MR or ultrasound for follow-up scanning, looking at the average uh, cost of ultrasound and MR, and the average number of these scans Cologne would perform over a year, this translates to an economic savings of 100,000 euros per year. So we saw the two studies from ICON that demonstrate the economic benefits. But when we spoke to the other ICON customers, we saw similar feedback. We uh, surveyed all the customers and we've seen that on an average, most of our customers are seeing a 20% reduction in repeat scans, a 30 to 40% reduction in follow-up scans on other modalities, increase in diagnostic confidence when ICON lives up to its promise. So again, reiterating, ICON really differentiates itself on three clinical benefits. The different spectral results that ICON offers allows you to uh, add additional diagnostic information, increasing your diagnostic confidence, reducing the need of follow-up scanning, making the first exam the right exam. Your workflow remains the same with ICON Spectral CT, and therefore you can retrospectively access all your spectral results anywhere and everywhere across your enterprise. And with, since every scan is a spectral scan, you do not have to make a decision upfront whether to scan the patient in a spectral mode. So thank you for your attention, everybody. I will be around if you have any questions.